Welcome to episode 7 of our Friday Food Fun Dance! Everyone else is drawn except for Grace and Daddy, so Daddy's drawing today. For the recipe roulette today... Is a a Oh no, move it down a little bit. There we go. Going down. There we go. Oh, what, what are we going to get? This is exciting. Ow. Okay. What are we going Just to get? a second, I have to set down the roulette. Dad, you're probably small enough to fit inside the tuba. Open it right. with the tongs. Yeah. Let's see, we have salsa chicken. Oh, that sounds good. You have like chicken? Not. I know, I know. Uh, it's, oh. We might not have but I have salsa. Yeah. We might okay. just have to go grocery shopping. Let's get, get cooking! cooking. Yeah. This recipe comes from Delilah, and she said it's a staple for her on Sundays in her family, and as she said it's really easy to put together. So I'm counting on that today because today it is a hot and steamy day, and I'm looking for a meal that I can put in this crock pot and not have to spend the rest of the day in the kitchen. So you're supposed to use however much chicken you're going to use for your family. I just went to my grocery store, bought a family pack of, this is, um, thighs, chicken thighs. Now I'm going to remove the skin because what the, what we're going to be doing with this chicken after it's cooked is we're going to be shedding it, sh shedding it. <laughs> we're going to be shredding the chicken, removing the bone and shredding the chicken. And the fat's, the fat's going to just make it too greasy. So we're going to remove the fat. If you want to skip this step, you can just use boneless chicken breasts or boneless chicken tenders or anything like that instead of what I use. For me, the chicken was $2.99 versus $0.99 cents a pound, and, well, you know which one huh. won. So, okay, guys, what we need to do is we need to take the skin off the chicken. Who wants to be... I'll do it. Okay, do you guys know how to do it? That's Where cool. is the skin? So what we do, the skin is this white stuff. And we just, this is easy. Chicken thighs are really easy to remove the skin. Okay, get it in. Peel it off like this. Oh. Whoop, that's Is it. That skin on it? Yep. yep. And the little bits of fat, that's fine. We're not worrying about that. We're just taking the skin off. Oh. <laughs> I don't care, I like it. Hey, yuck. <laughs> Why not? Just like, oh. Come on, Daddy. I can't. Okay. Is that supposed to come? How do you do it? You just look for the edge. Okay. And then just pull. I got it. Thank you. I need help grabbing this off. Oh, you got it. Just pull. Just like that. Oh, you did a good job, Mary. You almost got your top. I'm not used to doing this. This is a new thing for me. Look at me. Let's toss it in the pot. Look how easy this is. I need to wash my hands. Oh, yucky. Yucky. No touch. No touch. Okay, let's wash Okay, Daddy will go wash the hands while Mommy finishes this up. I'm going to have Mary. Put one package of cream cheese in here, and then she says, "Hang on, put both to it." There we go. Pop it in. No, we're not licking anything. We're cooking, and then we're supposed to add one jar of salsa. Now, sometimes ours tends to be a little watery. It just depends on the batch, but this one looks okay. And she didn't say how much to add. So, you think add the whole thing or half mm -hmm. of it? Probably half yeah, of it. I'd say okay, half. Okay, so we're going to add parties. half of that. Can't do the whole thing. I like sauce. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit more. All right, and we can always add more later, you know. Our homemade salsa is just, it's all rough chop. You don't have to cook this ahead of time. That's one of the beauties of this, is you just chop everything up, put it in jars, and put it in the pressure canner. And if you guys want to see the recipe and video on how we make this, I will put it in the description below and where you can go and watch for yourself how to make your own garden fresh salsa. We're gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours. I think she said on high it would be like four or five hours. But I'm just gonna put it in my pot on low. We're gonna forget about it. And when we, um, tonight, we're hopefully gonna have some salsa chicken and we're gonna shred this and put it in some taco shells with some lettuce, tomatoes. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. Put it in here. There it is. I think I'll probably stir this halfway because the cheese is going to sort of melt. We want everything blended in. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. Chicken's all done. It cooked really fast. And it's very hot. So I'm just popping out the bones and they're just coming right out like that and then as soon as I do that to all the chicken we'll just shred it but it's already as you can see it's already shredding up really 
really quickly and easily. This is shredding really nicely. And you can see, you know, you can use chicken breast, but the chicken thighs work just fine. I think what I'm gonna do, because I have all this juice left over, is I'm gonna serve this on the side so you can take some of the juice and just pour it on the taco on top of everything, sort of like um, taco sauce or enchilada sauce, whatever you guys like to put on your tacos. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of mixing this with this and make it one gloppy mess, we'll just serve that on the side. And then you can just uh, make whatever fixings you want to put on the top. And, and we're having tomatoes, a yellow pepper, and some lettuce. Anything else? Um, let's see. We were going to put olives on. We don't have olives. Right. So we're just going to use what you see here. The juice and, and the chicken. And some cheese. Sounds good to me. We're having dinner at the emergency squad because I'm filling in for somebody for a few hours tonight and we decided why not have a family party at our down here. So we're having our taco stuff and it looks like a good dinner. And we're and watermelon, corn. Nibble on that. Not too much kiddo. Yummy peppers. Let's see, onions please. Is that good? Mm. This is the creamy salsa juice. There you go. That's probably good. Peter, what did you think? Um, good. I like the food. Should we make it again? Oh, right. Yes, we should make it again because I love it. It was really good. Oh, really yeah. good. John, what do you think? I thought it was really yummy. I went back to thirds. Okay, well that's a good sign. Good. And it was very Mary, what do you think? <laughs> Lydia, what did you think about the food? Good. You haven't what? even touched it. Oh, well, what's the expert opinion? I thought it was really good. I'm just disappointed I forgot the sour cream. We said I would have put it all together. But I think so make again. Oh. What do you think, Grace? Grace liked the cheese. I thought it was good. I think it's a make again. The nice thing about it was it was very easy to make. I could probably almost make that myself. 